Just as my prior video was a composite review of a number of different German language learning resources, for which I only had a few examples, so also this one is going to be a, uh, a joint uh, review and description of two major, uh, massive actually, uh, French language uh, learning resources for learning other languages. Let me begin with this series here, uh, published by the firm, a large French publisher of uh, L'Armaton, and it is called Parlons, Let's Speak uh, Various Languages. But uh, if I read and translate the uh, series description, it says, in spite of their title, the books in this collection are not really uh, manuals of instruction for languages, but rather they try uh, to make those who are interested in foreign cultures uh, understand the particular mechanisms of the grammar, uh, which permits, uh, thanks to a, a minimum of vocabulary, uh, to form sentences. These books are not limited to language, but uh, propose, uh, moreover, a, a first approach to the culture of the country. Uh, this collection is directed by Michel Malherbe, and is concerned above all with uh, rare languages or with dialectical variants. So if I start to leaf through some of these to give you an idea of what's uh, going on, uh, I will say yes, they have over 130 different languages uh, in this series, and a great many of them indeed are things that you're never going to find anywhere else, uh, small languages from Africa uh, and, uh, and Central America and dialectical uh, variants from various uh, corners of Europe for which you can't find any other materials. They do come, or mine are a little bit old, uh, maybe they have CDs now, they come with one cassette that gives you a, a taste of the language. This one from Mongolian, I think, only has, has a lot of French on it and only about half an hour. Um, same with the uh, Tsigan, which I'll also show you. Um, as the description said, uh, this is much uh, sort of, it is a reference grammar combined with uh, anthropological or sociological cultural information and uh, some outline of the grammar. So this is not, again, maybe you have no other choice because uh, a language that you might be interested in uh, will not have any other materials, but this is not really something that would uh, you, you would pick up to work through and try to master the language, but really uh, as a uh, culturally curious person to get a linguistic overview of how it works. And given that uh, life is short and we can only learn so many languages, uh, this is a marvelous series to have uh, access to so that you can do that kind of thing because you can't uh, get to everything in, in full detail. They do give a large uh, vocabulary. Uh, the table of contents talks about the, the Mongolian world, history, uh, the language, uh, again, is sort of a reference grammar, uh, and uh, contemporary culture and civilization. The, uh, the one for Sigan, uh, is similarly structured um, and talks about the, uh, the the history of the Tsigan people uh, all through uh, from their Indo Aryan origins to the European Middle Ages, their culture uh, and the language and uh, gives here you do get uh, some charts and grammar. They are uh, scholarly, technical. Um, the tape for this is very short actually in terms of the Tsigan and it's not well recorded but uh, I, I don't know what else you can do and you get tech samples as well. So uh, this series of Parlon, uh, again they have for over 130 very different uh, rare, hard to find languages. And apart from that, uh, in the same publisher, uh, they have a number of other uh, collections, they call them, and this is their uh, Etude Grecque. And they have uh, a large number of nice bilingual texts, bilingual novels, uh, Greek, French, uh, and so there you have it. I'll just uh, leaf through, hope that it comes out clearly on uh, this series. So uh, that's something to, nice to have another reference for. And this, as I said, it's a very large uh, publishing house. And they have uh, probably a number of other series, not just uh, for Greek, but that's just a sample of their uh, bilingual texts. Much more of a traditional language learning method is this other series, uh, Langue et Monde, l'Asiatique. And they have, I have three copies here uh, for uh, Burmese, uh, Nepali, and Kazakh. And each one of these is a little bit different, but they are all uh, fairly nice and traditional, uh, straightforward grammar translation methods. Um, they have these books for uh, 29 different languages, as I last counted. Uh, and they are um, mostly, as, as the title says, Asian languages, uh, not, not exclusively, but uh, for the most part. And this Kazakh manual here is structured uh, with uh, just a, a pure uh, grammatical description and uh, some examples, and then a whole bunch of exercises. And then they give a dialogue with it. 
And at the conclusion, uh, the after the vocabulary, a uh, sort of uh, cultural instruction, what's going on in the culture. And that's the whole structure of this entire book, which uh, comes with two CDs that I think are about three solid hours, a very nice, crisp, clear uh, recording. Uh, so this is a very nice book um, for Kazakh. The Nepali book is structured a little bit differently. It's also, as I said, a nice straight grammar translation method. Um, it begins with uh, reading passages or dialogues uh, and then goes into the nice straightforward uh, grammatical presentation, description uh, piece by piece of the way the grammar is structured. Uh, about five or six uh, different exercises. Answer key is provided at the end. Nice clear print and the like. Nine exercises, I'm sorry. More than that. Uh, and uh, there, that's the structure of this here, a very nice uh, method for Nepali, which also, uh, again, following the, the, the same basic series here, uh, these books contain far more culture, period, I mean, talking about the, the life and the history and the literature um, than you would get, uh, say, in the uh, English language series of uh, Teach Yourself Nepali or, or something like that. These are uh, much more somehow, um, yes, uh, culturally designed, culturally rich books here, the Asiatic. And the uh, Burmese manual, again, is a little bit different. It has um, uh, the, the Nepali also came with uh, two tapes, about, uh, I think, two solid hours uh, of recording. Uh, and the uh, structure of this is uh, through highly illustrated dialogues, first and foremost. I haven't studied this, so I'm not quite as sure. Then followed by the uh, vocabulary. Uh, and exercises, and they give you three or four for each section, which are also preceded um, by the uh, uh, grammatical explanations in a sort of uh, reference grammar type way. So uh, another uh, access uh, set of resources for, again, let me uh, say for Laziatic, you have these available for um, uh, modern Standard Arabic, Palestinian Arabic, uh, Bengali, Burmese, uh, Bulgarian, uh, Chinese, Korean, uh, Greek, uh, Hebrew, Hungarian, Indonesian, uh, Japanese, Classical Japanese, Judeo-Spanish, uh, Macedonian, Malagash, Nepali, uh, Persian, Standard Persian, uh, Afghani Persian, Kazakh, Russian, Slovak, Slovenian, uh, Tachelit, I don't even know what that is, uh, Thai, uh, Tibetan, Turk, Vietnamese. And uh, I would not have time to read off the entire list for the, uh, the Parlon series here, but uh, I'll just give you an example of some of the languages that they have it for are uh, F, lots of uh, languages uh, from the uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Avikam, uh, Afar, uh, Albanian, Alsatian, Azerbaijani, Bambara, Bambouin, Baoule, another African language, uh, Bengali, Bete from the Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Belarusian, uh, uh, Bulu from Cameroon, Buruchaski uh, from Pakistan, uh, Brahui also from Pakistan, uh, Breton, Bulgarian, Cap, uh, Cap Catalan, Cebuano, Chichewa, and so on and so forth. So. Um, with these two series here that I showed you, um, L'Armaton, uh, Selection Parlant, and uh, L'Asiatique, uh, Langue et Monde, you have uh, two more examples apart from uh, Assimil, with which I began this whole series of language learning materials, um, of why I always say to people interested in polyglottery who are interested in learning other languages, uh, learn French first.